If you saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sahaba in your dream without pointing to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from far away, you would know this is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because of this augustness, this majesty that he had. He didn't have uh, uh, entourage around him, he didn't have uh, people around him walking uh, like kings, he didn't have royal courts. His this court was very simple and humble, but his Allah looked really like a prophet. His face would shine. Exactly like the full moon shining in uh, one night. Taller than squared. Shorter than a very tall person. Mushaddad is a very tall person. Adim al his head was big, al if his hair uh, was long enough to be parted, he would part his hair. We have various relations about parting his hair. The reliable opinion, according to Imam al Nawawi, is that he didn't part his hair in Mecca. He parted his hair later in Medina. The last of his practice was parting his hair on the sides. And it is preferred, according to Imam al Nawawi and al Juma. Azhar al see the word Azhar here. His color was pink. Wasi al Jameen, his forehead was large, was broad. Azhar al Awaji, his uh, eyebrows were like a curve, they weren't straight. Sawabir, they were perfect. But they didn't meet. They appeared like meeting in the middle, above the nose, but they didn't meet. Between his eyebrows, there was a blood vein. When he got angry, Sallallahu Alaihi for the sake of Allah, and only for the sake of Allah, it would be fully. His uh, nose was tall. There was some light on him, وسلم, and on his nose, on his face. You look at him from far away, you see the light above his nose, you think his nose is very high, but it wasn't very high. It was the light that was covering him. His beard was thick. His cheeks were so smooth, water would be running on his cheeks, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Bali Azam, his mouth was big, wasya. This is an indication to his eloquence, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. It is a praiseworthy quality in men, not in women, also. Muflajal Islam, or Muflajal Islam. His teeth weren't sticking to each other. He used to clean between his teeth, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with al-khilal, with al-khilal. So the distance between his teeth, every tooth was separate from the other. Also another sign of beauty. This is mainly for al-thanaya, al-riya, was sulla the two front teeth, from top and bottom. The al his hairline from the chest to the navel was thin. Kan describing his neck. If you made a doll, dolly, a doll of silver, his neck would be like uh, engraved. Uh, dolly, neck of the dolly. It's so beautiful, so pure, like silver. It's by silver, the purity of silver, the color of it. Mu'adan al Khal, Efresh in his form, Badi, his body was full of fish. He wasn't uh, big, but it was full of fish. Mutabati. His, uh, this is describing him, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, before the last year. His 
flesh was condensed, so his body was strong. Later on, before he died, his body was relaxed. So when, when getting up, he used to get up using his hands to help uh, his knees getting up in the prayer. And this is the hadith, his belief, كان عليه الصلاة والسلام يعجب في صلاته كان يعجب في صلاته He used to uh, paste his dough in his prayer. Also, can you prepare your uh, dough while uh, praying for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the prayer? Can I ask you to be No, you can't. But the way he used to get up is the way uh, similar to people who are practicing this profession when preparing the dough for the prayer. His body was full and his flesh was condensed, automatic. Sarawal al-Batni al-Salam, he didn't have a belly appearing in front of his body, his chest and his belly were straight. So he didn't have a belly coming like a big person. 